Dow still in positive territory as a bipartisan group of governors calls for states to take the lead on oil regulations instead of the federal government. Republican Governor Phil Bryant from Mississippi is leading this charge, and he is joining us in another Fox Business exclusive. Thank you for being here today. Why do you think it's better to let the states uh, take the lead on drilling regulation than the federal government? Well, Adam, thank you for having me. It, it, people say it's controversial and something new. Actually, governors have been regulating their energy production and exploration since 1935. So what is new is now we see even an overbearing federal government coming in using the EPA regulations that uh, are being developed now that will hinder the production and exploration of oil and gas in our states. We have done a remarkable job uh, since 1935 of making sure that it's a safe environment in which we produce oil and gas. We have helped this country become in energy independent. We're leading the world in oil and gas production. So uh, the IOGC and the Groundwater Protection Council uh, have joined together with 12 other governors to say uh, to the federal government, don't fix what's not broken. We're doing a remarkable job of monitoring our environment, uh, our environmental regulations with our states, our exploration, uh, our refinery capacities and, uh, and use. Uh, and so it is something that the federal government would have to deliberately change that exists today. Well, let me ask you from a business standpoint, wouldn't it be easy easier if I'm operating an oil exploration company to know that I'm going to operate under one set of regulations instead of uh, multi-different regulations from state to state? And absolutely, particularly, Adam, when you've got a federal government, an agency like the EPA, that appears to be determined, if you will, to slow the production of oil and gas, particularly on public lands, one, uh, one, uh, one set of standards established by the EPA on hydraulic fracturing, for example, could drive up uh, the cost of natural gas. That affects small businesses. It affects every individual. It affects uh, uh, the entire country uh, during uh, this difficult but, winter. Governor, I uh, might. I might, I'm a little confused. I think what I was asking, though, is wouldn't it be cheaper for me as the oil exploration company, and especially for investors who want to look at investing in companies that are fracking, to operate under one set of rules set by the federal oh, government as opposed to different rules from state to state to state to state. But, but if you look at where the states are at, uh, you have the ability to understand exactly what a state's going to do from its history of how it's dealt uh, with its energy capacity and production. For example, the Fraser Institute said Mississippi is the second best place in America to invest in oil and gas. So as a company, you can pick. You get to say, look, I can go to Mississippi because they are the second, number two in the nation for permitting speed. I can go to Texas. I can go to Oklahoma. Uh, and so you, you can, as a business, I know this is a strange idea, but you can move your investment. You can determine what's best for your company in oil and gas production and pick the state that best suits you for that uh, purpose. It creates jobs, and so many people believe that fracking and the production of energy in this country is off to a dramatic start that's going to change our futures. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Governor Phil oh, Bryant. Thank you, Adam. Enjoy it.